Subsequences are a very powerful feature within Smartly that help you automate scenarios using your lead's behavior. Let's say your lead replied uh, saying yes, a lead replied saying no, a lead replied saying maybe I'm interested. You can automate the entire follow-up experience without you having to manually go and do that and saves you a ton of time and hiring and overheads. So the way you can do that is simply go to any campaign you got over here and click on the Subsequence tab and click on Add Subsequence. Now here's a cool part of how the Subsequence experience actually begins. Let's just call this positive apply right and what i'm going to do is what is going to happen what actually causes a lead to qualify to enter into subsequence and that in this particular condition is saying a lead is added based on their lead category being maybe positive and where does this happen is in the master inbox when a lead actually responds back saying they're interested if the ai has categorized them as positive boom without doing a single thing the lead is automatically pushed into the subsequence without you having to raise a single button or click or click a single button or raise a single finger or if you go ahead and do that manually within the master inbox that way whenever you mark them as positive it will automatically qualify them over here now the other cool thing is you can actually add a delay and this is usually useful when you're trying to do an out of office subsequence but Otherwise, uh, you can leave this empty. Now, that's one option over here. I want to show you other options you can actually go to do. The second thing is you can say if the lead replies with certain text. Now, in a situation, the lead responded back with, yes, I'm interested, etc. You can actually simply go and type in, yes, uh, interested, sounds good. And Smartly will intelligently parse all the text within your replies and actually qualify a lead for that particular positive sentiment and subsequence for you without you doing a single thing. Again, super powerful option over here. Another thing you can do is something called when the lead bounces. This is really important because let's say you're going to do an omni-channel experience over here and your email has bounced. That doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You can easily go ahead and use that bounce lead to then reach out to them on other social media channels that you want to reach out to them, making sure you actually have not lost a lead or potential revenue. Now let's go ahead and talk about this fourth option over here. Uh, Re-engagement process is when a lead that has not responded back to your first original campaign, but they've gone ahead and received all their emails. Super, super, super important and crucial way for you to make sure you don't capture or you capture and don't lose leads that may potentially be interested, but the timing was not right or you just haven't nudged them. When you're running re-engagement campaigns, I want to make sure I put this out very clearly. Do not send re-engagement campaigns that are less than 30 to 45 days because if you message the same person that you've messaged five times in a row and they haven't responded back and you message them again that would easily be considered effectively spamming them you need to understand and take the signal and wait at least 30 to 45 days to go ahead and set up a re-engagement campaign this otherwise is an easy way for you to get your mailboxes burnt if you don't do this carefully so only do this if you know what you're doing all right, so now we've got these four options over here. I'm just going to say maybe let's just say lead category is updated and it's marked as positive just because, you know, that's what we're, we're working with. So lead category updated, marked as positive. In this case, I'm going to leave that to zero. I'm going to save it next. The experience is very similar to go ahead and creating a campaign. If you create a campaign, just go ahead and do that. Now, here's the thing. If they're positive, it's a subsequence. That doesn't mean you want to go ahead and create a whole new thread. No, they replied back saying, I'm interested. You can say, thank you for showing interest. And it will be the same variables that are part of the parent campaign, winner, winner. Thank you for showing interest, blah, blah, blah. Are you available in this state, in this state? And it will be acting as a natural reply to the original uh, response. But here's the other cool thing. You can actually add variance in the response to the positive replies to see which type of positive interactive interaction is actually working really well for your campaign and really go deep down on that. Save it next over here. Then you can go ahead and select the setup over here and decide the time zone. Um, you will probably want to go with the same time zone that your uh, parent campaign has, and you should be good to go on this side and click save. Um, now, you might ask, why is the mailbox not option available like it used to be available for campaign creation? Well, because of the whole premise of threading the mails to be natural, we will be using the same mailboxes that were originally attached to the lead from the parent campaign. And you can finally, you can click on save and next, and it will say, ta-da, you're set to go. One thing I do want to mention for you, though, is if you go to the settings section, you'll see some nifty little additional option that we would have basically uh, created. A little nifty option is here called ignore mailbox sending limits. It's a very crucial feature. Pause it for a second and read what this text is trying to say. What this is trying to observe is on a mailbox level, you might say, I want to send 30, 40 messages. And those 30, 40 messages are respectively observed on a mailbox level for security, as well as, you know, reputation perspectives on a campaign, uh, on the mailbox level for sending out messages to campaigns as well as subsequences. But we know subsequences are an important element because the person has showed interest and in 
interest is relevant to speed. If you react to them the right way, they will then potentially increase in becoming a high paying customer. So this option over here, if you turn on, will effectively say for any message that qualifies or any lead that qualifies for this particular subsequence, I am going to ignore any daily sending limits because I know that this lead is hot and there's a priority for me to reach out to them, right? So hopefully you've read that and it makes sense. Again, use this only if you know what you're doing because there obviously is a potential that you may oversend and that might lead to an overall drop in reputation. Unlikely, obviously, because the lead has shown interest, but there's definitely a chance as well. So only use this if you really know what you're doing and if it is important important for you to go ahead and reach out to that lead at that particular point in time for this particular sentiment, right? Obviously, you don't want to do this if a person says they're not interested or they're not keen. You probably don't even want to have a subsequence for uh, where you're sending messages to people who are not interested unless, again, you really know what you're doing, but I wouldn't go ahead and do that just to protect your mailbox. So this is what you probably want to go ahead and do in a situation you know a lead is very interested in responding back to you or they're positively marked. In that case, you don't want the mailbox to follow a certain pattern of sending 30, 40 messages instead say, yeah, you know what? It's okay. I'll send two or three messages extra and be like, yep, sounds good. I see that you're interested. Let me know when we can catch up. And that way you've captured your lead's attention very, very quickly and then converted that into a deal and money in your bank. So I hope this helps. I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you share your wins in the Slack channel, share your wins on social media whenever you close deals with Smart Lead. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.